Well, the start of spring break was uh, more than many families had expected today. Thousands anxiously waiting for the wind to die down so they could get going. Canceled ferries and seaplane flights had people panicking early on today. A CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports patience was the name of the game if you had to travel. Like I said, hopefully in a couple hours, once this plant goes through, we'll be back up in the air, but permanent weather hold for now. Winds gusting over 75 kilometers an hour in Victoria's Inner Harbor were the only sounds at Helijet, its blades silent and still for a good part of the morning. I don't think we've ever canceled for wind in 25 years of service, but uh, really severe winds up there today. Severe enough to keep these passengers grounded. It's a group of us have brought ships over during the night and we're trying to get home. Out of the airport were relatively unaffected. The same could not be said, though, for Harbor Air, whose operations were all but shut down for several hours. An unusual, albeit brief, delay for Helijet. Dozens and dozens of Harbor Air flights cancelled up and down Vancouver Island, and thousands of people, many just starting their spring break, stranded at BC Ferries. We're just sitting here hoping. And the weather says it's going to continue to be windy this evening, so we hope we're not hooped for spring break. Cancelled sailings on 15 of BC Ferries routes, including Swartz Bay to Swanson, made for long lineups. Oh yeah, I sure love waiting for ferries. His mom may not agree. When I heard the wind in the middle of the night, I got up and made a reservation, made a gamble, but the re reservation's been cancelled. Now it's first come, first serve. And that meant long waits for many. Some people were happy simply to enjoy the majesty of Mother Nature and the residual effects of her power, especially those whose spring break hasn't started yet. No school, no power at their school, so we come down and check out the big waves. Their school, one of six in the North Saanich and Cordova Bay areas, closed due to widespread power outages. Not that they mind. I thought that we're happy that we're here because they, we have no power at our house. No power. The power's off. And then we get to go outside the play. Uh, it's quite a spectacular sight. And a real treat for this visitor from the prairies who braved the wind and rain to capture the moment. Windy or not, yeah, it's still beautiful. Beautiful and powerful. That's Mother Nature for you. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.